card in this video I'm going to show you how to save and how to save a lot of things at one time so let's get started first thing you're going to need blueprint save game select let's call it save game BP now to save things like a lot of them at one time we're going to need a blueprint structure let's call this player variables so let's just go ahead and create a few of these real quick I like to do integers it really don't matter anything you want to save let's say it's health whoops health ammo level you know what whatever, whatever it doesn't matter what it is then we're done there save it then you want to duplicate this let's call it save variables so then open up your save game BP you want to create a new variable over here and then set that you come over here and just type save you should see your structure save variables I like to rename it to save struct compile you're done there now you want to open up your first person character or your character BP whatever you're doing it in and you are have to do the same thing create a variable except this time we're going to type in player variables pull up your structure rename it player oops struct okay all right we're ready to go now we need to set up the save function so event begin play so as soon as the character is on the screen as soon as it loads it's going to ask does save game exist come up with a slot name I'm going to say juice because I like juice it's good stuff and then uh, you're going to say if it's true or false it does something so obviously the first time it's going to be false create save game object and you want to select the BP you made save game BP pull out from return value promote to variable we're going to call this save game so that part's done let's go ahead and set up a save game function so we can test all this out I like to use a custom event. Let's call it save game. Well, I messed that up, but that's all right. So you're going to need grab your struct, grab your save game. Let's cast to your save game BP from this. Then we're going to do set save struct. So we're going to be saving to it. From here, from your player struct, you're going to break. It's going to give you access to all your variables. From the set, you type make. There it is. Just connect these together. This is a lot faster than doing them one by one, I promise you. Connect this. Then we want to do save game to, oh, there it was, slot. Make sure your slot name is the same. You can also set that as a variable and just pull it in. And then your object, just pull out of your your cast, bam, you're done. So the save game is set up. It's going to get your current variables and set them in a save uh, system so we can pull them later. Let's go ahead and set up something to test it out. I'm going to have you run my save game function. I'm going to have T actually modify one of the uh, variables so we can make sure it works. So let's just add one to the health you're gonna get and then set on the same one make plug this in plug all these in you have to always plug them in you can't leave them blank whoops and then we're gonna say R we're just gonna have it print string and give me the the value of the health so I can make sure it's going up. I like to use print strings, you know, they're good, use them. It helps you make sure everything's working. Like here where it's saving. Go ahead and type save game. That way we can know for sure it's working. So we've got the save set up. We've also got a system to modify a variable and then we can save it to make sure it works. So let's go ahead and do the loading part. Back here, if save game exists, we need to load game from slot. Let's again make sure the slot name is the same. Then you want to grab your save game variable, set and plug this into it right here because we're going to need to cast 
to our save game BP. Stuff's in the way. Let's go ahead and move it out. So we're going to do the reverse. You want to get save struct and break it. Then you want to set the player struct and make it. And then just connect the wires. So we're going to save or this is going to load everything from the save game BP into your current character's attributes. So that should be all we need to do to have this set up. Let's run it and make sure it works. So when I push R, we're getting zero for our health. T adds one to it, so I can sit here and get it up. Then we'll push U, make sure it's saved, and then check. It's at 11, so I should be able to exit, play again, and just print. Voila, it's saved. So it works. So this is how you do it. Uh, this is a really quick way of being able to save a lot of variables neatly and quickly. This will save you a lot of time. The only downside is if you need to modify just one variable, you still have to connect all the others. So it can be a little tedious in that sense, but it's still faster than doing the rest of them one by one. So I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching. If you like the video, please check out my Facebook channel. It's pretty cool, too.